Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today, I posted a video letting you know that Microsoft had rolled out the July Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 10, which for version 22H2 was KB5040427. Now that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. But just to let you know that over and above rolling out this update, Microsoft has also rolled out updates for some of the older Windows 10 versions, which also received updates uh, yesterday on the 9th of July. So I thought this was interesting because these are unsupported versions of Windows 10. So obviously there was an important security issue that Microsoft deemed important enough uh, to roll out uh, security patches for those much older versions of Windows 10. Now, first of all, if you are running those older versions, which are 1809, 1607, and 1507, and if you're not seeing the update on your Windows Update page, for whatever reason, then what I would suggest is heading over to the Microsoft Update Catalog, and I'll leave this um, down below for easy access and reference, so you can just copy and paste the link, and you just enter the respective update. So for Windows 10 version 1809, the update is KB5040430. For Windows 10 version 1607, the update is KB5040434. And for Windows 10 version 1507, the update is KB5040448. And then, um, yeah, if you look at the different... Um, the different info provided, we can see that it's security updates, last updated the 9th of July 2024, and yeah, you can actually see the size of each update, and yeah, you've got, as an example, 1507, that would be 64 bit, and that would be 1507, 32 bit, and if you click on any of those relevant um, versions of uh, Windows 10, uh, yeah, you'll see that it says the Update includes a security uh, fix for an issue that has been identified in a Microsoft software product that could affect your system. So obviously Microsoft deemed this important enough to roll out an update. And if you're wondering what that security issue is, apparently when Windows Installer um, was repairing an application, the user account control, UAC, didn't um, prompt for uh, user credentials. So after uh, you install this update, the UAC will prompt for them according to Microsoft. So it's a small yet significant little security update regarding the user account control warning. Now, just a bit of a recap here regarding UAC and user account control. How we get to that in Windows 10 uh, is we head to our control panel, just do a search accordingly if you don't know where that is. And yeah, you'll see user accounts. And if we click on use uh, change user account control settings and I actually posted a whole video on how you can disable this I'll leave that uh, in the end screen um, here's where you can control and turn off uh, UAC now I can't show you this prompt in real time because uh, my screen recorder doesn't like it it's not picking up the overlay but um, once you click on OK if you want to change this um, and turn it off you will see this user account control warning now this is what Microsoft is talking about that the UAC didn't prompt for your credentials. As we can see, this is just a, a screenshot that was taken. And uh, um, after you install the update, this prompt, um, the UAC will prompt for them again. So that's the security issue according to Microsoft that has been patched with this latest, these latest updates for those older versions of Windows 10. And as mentioned, those older versions are version 1809, 1607, and 1507 and just getting back to the Microsoft update catalog if you don't know how to install these updates manually because obviously this is not an automatic you'll have to install these manually if you are using the update catalog I have posted a whole video on how to do that and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen as well so interesting that 1809 1607 and 1507 over and above the normal patch Tuesday security updates that rolled out for the so-called supported versions of Windows 10 those older versions now have also received those security updates. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.